so reconnecting to the nature and to the knowledge of Pachamama, yeah. which is the connection that we are just a small part of this whole universe, and we can find uh, lots of our health solutions in the natural therapies. Uh, I know that after COVID, uh, lots of people had uh, lots of problems with uh, being extremely tired. You have the acupuncture treatments, uh, okay. which really give a direct solution on this, on this energy uh, uh, m levels in the body. We also have uh, hypnosis, which is now coming into hospitals. Uh, instead of using very heavy chemical uh, treatments, uh, we uh, have uh, uh, people who live uh, surrounded in nature have uh, less stress. Uh, uh, level as people living in big cities that everybody knows. Uh, we also know that uh, meditation is like brushing your teeth. And when we speak about the telomeres, we can avoid uh, uh, illnesses which we don't like at all. Uh, and uh, we can uh, also, and again, COVID, because I think we are in a very interesting period of our life uh, that uh, uh, we are all aware that we are going to something new. And when you say meditation is like brushing your teeth, I put every morning like a four minute uh, movement meditation as my alarm clock. Because I think um, like one approach to healthy living today is to have good habits. And first of all, I would say do what you can do today. So that's small incremental changes. But it, of course it requires discipline. Um, and I would say on the other side, um, because you can optimize for discipline, but you can also optimize for passion. And I think that's also an important approach. And that's why I'm here, to get inspired. Because when I uh, hear what's possible in the future, I feel so much more motivated to actually act in the moment today. And um, yeah, if you look at your habits, it can be meditation, it can be eating more natural, uh, eating with the seasons. Um, but I would also say, look at your relationships, your behavior. Uh, are you in relationships that nourish you? Are you connecting with people in a way that lowers your stress levels or that raises them? and making some conscious uh, decisions, like what are you going to allow into your life and what are you going to keep a little bit more separate from you or which people you will keep more in the periphery of your social circle. Because a lot of um, what we think and what we feel is also influencing our bodies. And our bodies are a temple and we need to serve in our temple. Reactive medicine means we react to diseases, meaning we are healing the sickness. We are there to maybe also prevent um, like further stages by early prevention. And that's something that we had for years, for decades, for centuries and more. And this is why we are all living now longer. That's basically what is happening. Physicians are trained uh, in the med school to react, to, to discover, to detect, to think differentially uh, in terms of diseases. And, and that is something that should not change and that is great. But on top of it, we should definitely add all the things that are coming up through the gerosciences that are being now um, partially even translated, right? in various ways towards the clinic. So this is, of course, the longevity medicine that we know today meaning the early diagnostics, the knowledge that we know on aging processes from the gerosciences, from the basic science, uh, things that we have already seen on animal models and cell culture models.